Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jack the Ripper, and welcome to the season two premiere of Scares and Nightmares. Now I know I'm on the Darkwood screen, but every season I wanna to try to mix it up with a different horror theme, just to kinda of change it up just some, just so it's not, it doesn't, we're not always on the same background, like every, every season that goes by. So last season it was with the horror stories background, I thought it was pretty fitting. But this season we're going to be using this dark wood background until I actually find like a decent way to actually make them. To actually talk about these little stories. So anyway, today I want to tell you guys about a really, well, a creepy dream. A nightmare that I had. This is around back in 2011, 2012 I believe. Now... There's not too much I remember about this story, but the one thing I want to say is that the most thing that I can remember is that I remember I was ghost hunting. This is, this is around the same time that I was really big into ghost adventures still. I think I talked a little bit about this last season, but anyway. So I was really big into ghost hunting at the time. I was always really big into ghost adventures and watching all those shows about how to like hunt spirits and come in contact with things from the afterlife and things like that. So the one thing I remember is we were ghost hunting. I was ghost hunting in my nightmare with some of my friends that were actually interested in the same things that I was at the time. But I remember we were at this place I can't remember if it was like a hospital or like a building or something or not quite sure but all I know is we were doing our thing and then while we we're actually getting some decent evidence out of nowhere like everything just went dark and like the whole room just went pitch black and then the lights never came back on. So up until that point, we were just using night vision cameras for our light, kind of like on Ghost Adventures. Couldn't see, could hardly see anything. Only thing we could see is the light on our on our little camera screens. And then five minutes pass after we start walking around trying to figure out, trying to figure find the way out of this place. And then all of a sudden, everyone just like disappeared. Like we all wandered off in different directions unknowingly and all of a sudden we none of us could find each other again. And all I could hear I could hear nothing but thing creepy things all around me, voices. I was scared out of my mind. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, while I'm I'm running around endlessly because I'm really trying to find find someone that I find one of my friends that I was with or trying to find the hell the way to get out of there and all of a sudden I found the door and once I got to the door I went through it and all of a sudden like uh, it, it was almost like I had gotten knocked unconscious or something as soon as I went through the door and the last thing I remember because like I said, I'm not going to remember every detail from the story. I'm just going to tell you the best I can for what I do remember. But the last thing I remember was after I went through that door, like everything went pitch black. And then the next thing I remember is I remember waking up on like a pallet of boxes. It was like three boxes like sitting next to each other. And like I, I just woke up on laying on top of all three of those boxes that were pressed together. So it was almost almost like a little bed or something. But the last thing I remember is I woke up on those boxes and I sat up for a minute. And the only thing I could see around me was it was almost like I was in a gigantic warehouse. And this warehouse had like really long aisleways. So the boxes that I was sitting on were at the very, very back end of like this, of one of these aisleways. 
and the last thing I remember is I was sitting on top of them, I was trying to recompose myself, and I'm looking all of the way in the distance in front of me. And all I do is I hear like a, I hear like a noise way, way, way back there on the opposite side of where I was. The last thing I remember is I was looking over there, and then I hear like the noise rush towards me. So it was all the way across the other side of where I was. And then like within two seconds, I hear and feel it rush towards my face. And before I know it, it was right in front of my face. And it scared the hell out of me. And then it woke me up. And that's as much as I can remember from that experience, from that nightmare experience. One of the creepier things that I've been through. And honestly, I think, you know, watching ghost adventures and being like interested in ghost hunting and stuff it's really it's kind of really got me par more paranoid than usual and i don't know if that's better for better or for worse for what i'm doing with this series but i guess for right now you know this really this is a really good thing to talk about for the beginning of season two uh so i want to say thank you to everyone for watching this little short episode uh episode two is going to be up is going to be uh recorded really soon and i'm, I'm going to be having another guest star on this season and i just want to say that i'm really really excited about going through season two because i'm recording this in late february right now as of right now so and you guys probably won't see this until the beginning of April. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So with that being said, be, be on the lookout for the next few episodes. And I will be having another guest star on the show. Because we had, uh, I had Blood Shadow come on last season. This was, that was our first reunion since finishing Metal Gear Online. This year, well this season I should say, I'm going to try to get Phoenix to come back on. Because I know he's got a lot of stuff that he wants to share. And I talked to him about it, and he's really cool with coming back on the show. So I'm really excited about that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this first episode of Season 2 of Scares and Nightmares. And I'll see you guys later.